Hello and welcome to Flutats. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to animate this message uh, bubble in After Effects. And before we start, uh, make sure to check my free motion design class on Skillshare by clicking on the link in the description to get two free months of uh, more than 20,000 other classes to learn from. And without further ado, let's get started. This is the result of what we are uh, gonna be making in this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. Uh, before we start anything, as you can see, we have the anchor point in the middle of the shape. And we have uh, to rotate this shape from here. To do that, uh, you have to change this anchor point here. Use your uh, pen tool here and drag it to the edge of this uh, bubble speech. But it's not gonna snap. And to make it snap, uh, click on alt hold click and hold uh, on alt on uh, control sorry and it will snap then go to your uh, other uh, shapes and do the same drag and snap it to the right like so and for the start, uh, let's keep it on the middle because we have, we're gonna animate only the scale. Do the same uh, for this uh, purple one. Like so. And we're gonna keep uh, the star one as it is. Okay. Now let's uh, animate the rotation and scale of this uh, blue shape. Click on R and hold Alt, uh, hold Shift plus S to reveal the scale property and add the keyframe. Go to five uh, frames, add another keyframes. Go to the first one, rotate it by 60. Uh, before we do this, we have to uh, parent all the shapes to to the bubble speech. Go to the beginning, rotate by 60, and uh, the scale zero. Then uh, we have to rotate it by minus 10 and scale with 110 to have the bouncy effect then 95 and 5 then it go back to the original scale and rotation is 0 as you can see it's not uh, quite smooth to make it smooth let's select all the keyframes Click F9 or go right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go to your graph editor and uh, play with the graph like this. You see, it's more different than the... Now let's animate the text lines. And to do this, we are gonna animate the scale. Select both key shapes and add the keyframe. Go to the end of the animation of the shape and add another one. And the first one, let's may click on the constraint property proportions so because if you scale like this, it's gonna scale the entire shape. And we only wanna scale vertically like this. Make it zero. F9. And uh, if we keep it like this, they are gonna come together. And we don't need this. We want uh, this to come first. So we're gonna s three frames between uh, the two. Now you have this. Now let's animate the star. 
The star is easy to animate. Select your uh, star shape and click S to reveal the scale pro properties. Add the keyframe. Go 10, keyframe, 10 frames after and add another one. Add an, uh, another one in the middle. Go to the first one. Make it zero. Then it goes to 110 to have the bounce effect. Then it goes to 95. Then it goes to the original position 100. Select all keyframes F9 to easy ease. And you have this effect. Let's scale this a little bit down. There you have it. And to do the same for this, let's just copy the keyframes. For this, we have scale and rotation. Let's copy the scale. Let's copy the rotation. But we are going to have an issue because it's going to come from uh, above. And to, to fix this, uh, let's just make everything negative. This 60 will be minus 60. This will be 10 instead of minus 10. This is going to be minus 5 instead of 5. And this should be fixed. Yes. I forget to parent uh, other shapes. Let's do this now. Now let's uh, animate the other ones by uh, doing the same. Just copy the frames. There we have it. Now let's uh, offset the other one as we have. Like this. Just select all the keyframes. Get to 10 frames after. There you have it. And to have more uh, customizable uh, ones, like we do in this one, you see these lines. We're going to just duplicate the main speech bubble by holding Ctrl D. Put it below the first one. Select the scale keyframes and scale like this. It doesn't have to be more than five. <laughs> Go to your effects, find edges. Click on invert, then select the mode to screen. There you have it. And offset this uh, keyframe so it uh, comes after the one. Boom, there you have it. So easy to make. So this is, that's it for this uh, tutorial. If you want to download the project file, you can uh, see the link in the description for that. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.